So we've been looking at division in maths. And last week we looked at sharing. This week we are going to look at grouping to help us solve our division questions. So if I have 12 daffodils and I want three bunches of the daffodils, how many daffodils will there be in each bunch? For this question, we know that we want three bunches, so we know that we want three groups. So therefore, we are using our sharing model. We have our three groups, and we share the daffodils into each group, making sure it is equal. So every group has exactly the same amount. Can you work it out? Brilliant. So there are four daffodils in each bunch. If I change the question slightly and said, how many bunches can I make with three daffodils in each? So this time, we don't know how many bunches we can make. We just know we have 12 daffodils and we want to put them three in each group. So this is our grouping method. So we circle three daffodils to find out how many groups we can make. So we can make four groups. Four beads make one necklace. How many necklaces can I make? So again, we don't know how many groups we're going to have. We don't know how many necklaces we can make. So we need to sort it into groups of four. So we've got 24 and we want to divide it by four. There's one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups and six groups. So our answer is six. Can you now have a go at sorting these three questions out and using our grouping model.